Hey everyone, welcome back to Melbourne Rally Videos. I'm here at Montmorency. The Montmorency Part 2, I think it is. And clearly it's been rebuilt since the last time I was here. So I've got 182M and 977M departing. Alright, let's have a look around Montmorency Station in its rebuilt form. So formerly, if you check out my previous Montmorency video, there used to just be a single platform here. Um, it was a very curved island um, single platform. But now there are two straight side platforms here. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a huge improvement. Um, this duplicated section of line extends all the way to the city. There aren't any single track sections left between Montmorency and the city. Unfortunately though, if we turn around this way, there's still single track. Um, this single track section lasts until I think Eltham, or at least most of the way to Eltham. Um, and that's probably never going to be fixed, or not fixed for a very long time. The reason being that there's a very rare butterfly species whose habitat is up in the region up ahead which is um, fortunate for the sake of the butterfly. I mean, there's not many of that butterfly species left, so um, just as well they found that habitat. But unfortunate for the sake of the railways because um, the original plan was for this duplication to continue up until much closer to Eltham. Um, and one day, obviously, they should duplicate the whole line um, for, for the sake of reliability. But um, yeah, I'm not sure when, if ever, that will be possible given the need to not interrupt, interrupt the habitat of that butterfly. So we're left with Montmorency being the end of the dual track section. One thing that I've noticed, um, I noticed this with Greensboro, I also noticed this with Montmorency, that it is pretty well sheltered. Um, although maybe that shelter could extend a bit further out, but it's significantly better than other stations. You know, it goes all the way along there that gives you whole two carriages probably to to get on without getting soaked and there's some more shelter at the other end it's got a drink tap up here which I always like um, the only strange thing is that there only seems to be an exit there might be one at the other end of platform 2 but the only exit seems to be this one right at the end here so, yeah, it's a bit of a shame they didn't have a second one, especially given they don't have ticket gates. You know, it's just these Mikey gates. So, let's have a bit of a look at the car park here. It's not a huge car park, but it does the job. It's actually got hot all of a sudden. It's pretty chilly up until now, but the sun's finally come out. Very clear station signage. And let's now walk across to the other side. Interestingly, they chose to keep this pedestrian crossing at grade, rather than putting it underground or above which I think, you know, it's probably better if they put it underground for the sake of safety, but here we are. And it gives us the benefit of having this overview of the new Montmorency station. So the old station used to be approximately where Platform 2 is now, but it's sort of, it's difficult to visualize how it used to be here. Um, so it's best to check out my old video to see what things were like. Anyway, so that's that's a look at the junction. You can see that the corridor becomes significantly narrower and would need significant earthworks which would just completely destroy the butterfly habitat if they were going to duplicate further. They've done quite a nice job of landscaping. I like the use of stones. Gives it a nice natural look to it. 
even if it's anything but. Again, another drink fountain, we'd love to see it. And this is a look at the entrance to Platform 1. It's not a premium station Montmorency, but it does have a bike cage. Here's a look at Montmorency Station from the other side of the road, looking at Platform 1 in the foreground and Platform 2 in the background. I'm a big fan of this signage here, this little bench which has Montmorency written on it. So now on Platform 1, this is a look at Platform 2. Just pan around. Yeah, I can confirm that there is only the one exit. So it's a bit of a nuisance if you get on at the wrong carriage, say if you get on at the back of the train, you've got to walk all the way to here, then all the way back potentially to your car, if your car's parked around there. So it's a shame they couldn't just put in a second entrance, slash exit. You know, it's, it's nearly, it's pretty much level up there. They could easily just take out one of those fence panels and put in an exit. Um, so that's a shame. One thing I want to point out is how um, hilly this area is. So this is the level of the, the platform and the train line. But if you look down here, that's the level of the road. That's a good sort of five metres down, I'd say. So this is a very hilly part of Melbourne. So they've got an emergency exit at this side. Well, not, not an actual exit. Here's a look at the platforms from this side, the um, up end of the platform, and we've got an extrapolis arriving which is my train, so I'll be hopping on this. Um, while it's coming in, I'll rate Montmorency. I think it's a, um, I think it's a seven out of 10. Um, nothing special, but it's nice and new. It's a massive improvement on the old station. It's got good shelter. It's got sort of tasteful architecture. So based on all that, I think it deserves a seven out of 10. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one.